Hi everyone. <coughs> Sorry, I got. <coughs> the average American spends about 10 hours a day sitting. Sitting for this long can be detrimental to one's mental and physical health. There are numerous studies that show that prolonged sedentary behavior is linked to things like cardiovascular disease and obesity. The science is pretty clear. We're spending too much time behind our screens and not enough time getting outside and exercising. We're just not moving and grooving like we used to. So how do we fix this? The obvious solution would be to sit less, exercise more, go outside. But we all know that life can get in the way and sometimes it's just hard to find the time to exercise let alone do exercise that you actually enjoy doing now this is gonna sound a little cheesy but what if i told you there was an exercise that you could do right now while sitting watching this video that could double the aerobic level of activity within your body compared to just sitting there in a recent study out of the university of houston scientists discovered that performing an exercise called the soleus push-up was able to not only do that but also lower one's blood glucose insulin resistance blood lipid levels, and it increased one's metabolism for up to three hours post-exercise. Now I know what you're thinking. How in the world can a muscle that's around 1% of our total body mass have such a massive effect on our body's chemistry. It all comes back to understanding the unique anatomy and physiology of the soleus muscle, of which we'll dive into first before we learn how to do this super cool, awesome, and free exercise called the soleus push-up. As always, I have everything timestamped in the description below if you just wanna skip ahead to learn how to do this exercise. However, I encourage you to stick around as we dive into the anatomy of the posterior leg. This region of the leg is home to some large and powerful muscles. Some are less genetically gifted than others when it comes to the sheer size of these muscles. Trust me, I've, I've tried. It just, they just don't grow. These muscles are super powerful because they allow us to propel ourselves forward when we walk and they allow us to elevate our entire body when we stand on our tiptoes. There are seven muscles found in the posterior leg and they can be divided into two categories, superficial and deep. Today we'll focus on the superficial group of muscles as this is where our star of the show likes to hang out. Let's take a closer look at the soleus muscle. The word soleus comes from the Latin word solea, meaning sandal or flat of the foot. The word also refers to a type of flat fish, the solefish. And you can see here how it got its name. When we remove the gastrocnemius, we reveal the soleus underneath. The muscle originates from the soleal line of the tibia and the proximal fibula, right here. You can see where the red is. That is where the muscle attaches to the bone. As we follow the muscle down the leg, you can see how some of the fibers from the soleus and the gastrocnemius combine to form the Achilles tendon, which ultimately attaches here to the calcaneus. The main function of the soleus muscle is, see the main function of this muscle is to plantar flex the foot at the ankle. And it does this by pulling up on the heel or that calcaneus where it inserts. For all the anatomy nerds out there, the soleus muscle is innervated by the tibial nerve, which originates from the sciatic nerve at the popliteal fossa, where the sciatic nerve branches into the tibial nerve and the common fibular nerve. Now that you're all experts on the anatomy of the soleus, let's shift our focus to the unique physiology of this muscle. Most of the muscles in our body get their energy from a molecule called glycogen. This molecule is stored within the muscle cell and has to be broken down into a smaller molecule before it can be used as fuel. This whole process is called glycogenolysis, aka breaking down glycogen. There is a problem though. When you exercise, your muscles start using up this stored glycogen. When glycogen levels get too low, your muscles begin to fatigue and they switch to using other sources of fuel, like glucose and fats that are found circulating in your blood. These processes are called glycolysis and lipolysis, respectively. The soleus muscle is unique because it's not able to have these huge stores of glycogen. Rather, it prefers to source its energy directly from the bloodstream, from your blood glucose. In other words, it prefers glycolysis over glycogenolysis. To put all this into context, the soleus muscle is an endurance muscle. As long as there's glucose circulating in your bloodstream, the muscle is gonna be able to activate as much as it wants 
without fatiguing. This helps explain not only how the soleus push-up exercise lowers your blood glucose, but also it helps explain how participants were able to do this exercise for four and a half hours without getting tired. Speaking of the soleus push-up, how do you do this exercise? Unfortunately, I couldn't be the one to show you guys how to do this exercise because well, as you saw earlier, my calves just aren't that big. <laughs> so I recruited my good friend and physical therapist, Dr. Patrick Bell, who is more genetically gifted than I. To perform the soleus push-up, you need to be seated with your knees bent to 90 degrees. Your feet should lie flat and muscles relaxed. Next, you're going to want to raise your heels as high as you can off the floor, making sure that the front of your foot stays in contact with the ground. Then, allow the heel to drop back down to the ground. And... That's it, or at least that's one rep. The exercise looks a little more something like this. Although this may look like a seated calf raise, the researchers in the study point out that this differs from a seated calf raise because it does not deplete local glycogen stores and it doesn't cause muscle fatigue. Now, you might be thinking, how long do I need to do this exercise in order to lower my blood sugar? While I couldn't find any specific protocol that the study mentioned, participants did engage in this exercise for up to four and a half hours. So does this mean you have to do it for four and a half hours to reap its benefits? Absolutely not. My takeaway from all this is that in today's world, it seems like we're always looking for the quickest life hack or shortcut to fix our problems or achieve our goals. This is especially true when it comes to fitness. Now, the soleus push-up isn't going to be the one exercise that makes all of your wildest fitness fantasy dreams come true. However, if throughout your day you find yourself sitting for a prolonged period of time, then incorporating this exercise as a habit and setting a reminder to bust out a quick set of soleus push-ups every hour could be an effective way to take that first step into achieving those fitness goals without having to take any steps at all. Get it? Because it's a seated exercise. It's <laughs> Jokes aside, the soleus push-up is not a replacement by any means for any exercise, medication, or therapies that your healthcare provider may recommend. It's simply another tool to have at your disposal on top of diet, exercise, meditation, therapy, etc. Let this be a reminder to get up out of that desk chair and Go do something fun today. Go outside, get some fresh air, put your phone down. Too much of our lives are spent sitting behind a screen. And if there's anything this study proves, it's that our bodies were designed to move. There isn't one job, life hack, or pill that's gonna bring us wealth, health, or happiness. All we can really do is focus on getting 1% better every day. Because over the years, that adds up. Thank you so much for watching and for all of you that subscribed because of the last video, thank you. It means a lot, seriously. To hear your guys' support and feedback means the world and to hear things like from random people on the internet that they used the video to teach their six and a half year old how to breathe, I just was blown away by that. And really my goal in making these videos is that you guys feel like you learned something. And so if you felt like you learned something in this video, then tap that like button and uh i'll see you in the next one thank you guys oh, yesterday there was sun and there was rain